Greetings and blessed day to you once again, people of God, is the Revelator once again. And hoping the grace and the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ is with you until the end of time. Welcome to the series presentation. The presentation, the conference titled The Resistance. The Resistance. And the praying that those that are going to be part of this three-day conference you are going to be equipped you are going to be given the knowledge and the wisdom the understanding the understanding that gives the benefit to the soul the understanding that gives the motive of the holy spirit and the understanding that is empowered by the spirit of the lord I want to talk about the resistance which is the introduction presentation in this series presentation and the resistance that I want to talk about is none other than the resistance inside the child of God which is not negative resistance but a positive resistance and that resistance can only be resistance against the dark kingdom, resistance against the devil's kingdom, resistance against the systems of the devil, resistance against the prince of demons, the resistance against Lucifer, the devil. And this resistance that I want to explain is extraordinary resistance resistance that is not ordinary but resistance that is way beyond just words that are spoken way beyond teachings but resistance that is radical resistance that is vicious resistance that is practical resistance that is also spiritual and the practicality of this resistance is resistance that comes from within, engineered and triggered and induced and initiated by the Holy Spirit. That level of resistance, it is the resistance that is defensive, a resistance that defends the kingdom of light, a resistance that makes one stand firm, one stands firm and remains defensive, one stands firm and remains with the zeal of the things of God remains with the zeal for the things of the Spirit. I want to talk about the resistance, which is also the title of the conference. And the resistance that I want to talk about, it is not just a stance. The resistance that I want to talk about, it is also a movement, a movement of a group of people, a movement of the remnants of God, a movement of the disciples of God, a movement of the believers of God, a movement of those that believe in God, a movement of the sons and daughters of God, a movement of those that represent our Lord Jesus Christ, Yeshua. Those that stand firm, those that fight for the kingdom, those that are not beleaguered by the kingdom of darkness, those that don't get defeated by forces and powers of darkness, but those that rebel against the systems of darkness, this is the movement, this is the resistance, this is the formation, this is the empowerment, this is the group of rebels, a rebellion against the kingdom of darkness, a resistance that does not give up, a resistance that keeps fighting, a resistance that fights for one cause, to magnify, to elevate the name of Jesus, a resistance that is not easily defeated, a resistance that does not suffer defeat but a resistance that represents the structures of Jesus Christ. Now, let me guide you into the principles and the policies, the concept, the word that 
gives guidelines to everyone that belongs to the resistance. If you are part of the resistance, you are going to understand these principles and policies. 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 14. Be ye not unequally yoked together with the unbelievers. You are being restricted if you are part of the resistance that represents the resistance of God that resists against the systems of the devil. You are being restricted to be unequally yoked with believers. There is no way you can be equally yoked with unbelievers. So you are being restricted to be unequally yoked with unbelievers. For what fellowship do you have if you are representing righteousness with unrighteousness? When you ought to resist unrighteousness, when you ought to go against unrighteousness, when you ought to fight against unrighteousness, what then connection what fellowship do you have with unrighteousness and what communion do you have with the darkness what communion does light have with the darkness and what concord what agreement is christ with the belial what is belial and who is belial belial represents a generation belial represents a tribe of the children of belial who were rebellious a representation of sinners heathens those that don't follow the rules the regulations of god those that don't follow the ordinances of god or what part then do you have in believing with those that are not the sons of god those that fight against the systems of god what agreement is the temple of god with the idols the temple is no part with the idols but rather the temple goes against idol worship the temple goes against all doctrines that build any systems of worship that cause idolatry for you are the temple of the living god as god has said i will dwell in them and walk in them and also be their god and they shall be my people wherefore come out of them brethren in second corinthians chapter 6 verse 17 wherefore come out of them brethren and be ye separated from them say that the lord and touch not the unclean thing and i will receive you touch not the unclean thing and i'll receive you meaning that you have to abstain you have to restrict yourself you have to go against you have to fight against you have to resist you must belong to the resistance when you belong to the resistance of god you don't just agree with anything when you belong to the resistance of god you don't just agree with everything when you belong to the resistance of god you don't just accept anything without scrutinizing it without investigating it when you belong to the resistance of god you don't just date any guy you don't just date any guy because he is just handsome you have to investigate that guy what does he represent in the spirit when you belong to the resistance you belong to the system of god when you belong to the resistance you belong to the structures of god when you belong to the resistance you belong to the rules and regulations of god when you belong to the resistance you only follow the rules of god you only follow the commandments of god you only follow the ordinances of god and god says i shall be a father unto you and you shall be my sons and daughters says the almighty god in matthew chapter 5 verse 39 matthew chapter 5 verse 39 but i say unto you that you resist not evil but whosoever shall smite you on the right cheek turn unto him and give him also the other People have mistaken this scripture. I want to say this again and again. And where exactly have men mistaken or misinterpreted this scripture? They have misinterpreted this scripture. The moment that Jesus says, do not resist evil, what Jesus is simply trying to say is, 
represent the character of Christ. The character of Christ is love. And the character of Christ is not only love. The character of Christ is tolerating those that have done you wrong. You must not be one that is prepared to always fight back. You must only fight back with the right cause. And when you're fighting back with the right cause, you are fighting back for a reason. And when you're fighting for a good reason that is represented by the Holy Spirit, you are fighting for a cause that is necessary. And when you're fighting for a cause that is necessary, you are fighting representing the, the, the rules, the regula regulations, the concept of the resistance. And the regulations of God that are represented by the resistance, they are the channels of God that guide you into the concept of light. They are the channels of God that guide you into the principles of light. They are the channels of God that guide you into the amendments of light. And when you are amended to the constitution of light, you now resist knowing that you are resisting the devil. Now, let us go to the book of James chapter 4 verse 7. In the book of James chapter 4 verse 7, it says, Submit yourselves therefore to God. Resist the devil and you will flee. But for you to resist the devil and resisting the devil at the level that the devil will flee, it means you must not only resist it, but you must be resistant. Resisting the devil is not enough until you become resistant. And being resistant is not enough until you belong to the resistance. You must not only be resistant, you must resist the devil. And you must not only resist the devil, but you must belong to the resistance. And when you belong to the resistance, you belong to the group of people that fight for the same cause as you are. You belong to the structures of resistance. You belong to the systems of resistance. You belong to the gospel of resistance. You belong to the channels of resistance. You belong to the rules and regulations of resistance. You belong to the kingdom of resistance. You are not only resistant for the wrong reasons. You must belong to the system that resists the devil. Now, for us to understand even more, for I will give you a mouth and wisdom which all your adversaries shall not be able to resist. Meaning that your resistance must be at the level of not only just being resistant, you must be able to resist the devil, and the devil must not be able to resist you. You must not only be able to resist the devil, but you must be able to have resistance to the level that the devil himself cannot resist you. Now, in Romans chapter 13, verse 1, let every soul be subject unto the higher powers. For there is no power of God, and that power of God not being subject under God. For there is no power of God that is not subjected under God. Every power of God is under God. Every power of God is submitted under God. The powers that be ordained of God submit under God. Be it the power of light, or the power of darkness, all those powers, they are powers of God. This is why you realize that at one moment, an evil spirit of the Lord, an evil spirit from the Lord, tormented soul, that is a power of God. And the reason why that evil spirit of the Lord was tormenting soul was because soul himself, he was no longer a soul that was subjected under the powers of God. He was now subjected under the powers that were now ruling him. Whosoever therefore resisted the power, resisted the ordinance of God, and which power is Apostle Paul talking about here? There is a power that you must not resist. It is the power of God. There is a power that you must not resist. It is the power that gives you the regulations and the ordinances of God. A power that guides you in the ordinances of God is a power that is not supposed to be resisted. And they that shall resist 
that power receive unto themselves damnation they receive unto themselves condemnation for the rulers are not a terror to good works but to evil will you then not be afraid of the power simple do that which is good and you shall have the praise of the same what is the meaning of this what you can only resist is what you are fighting against what you can only resist is what is fighting against you but you can no longer and you can never resist that which you are not fighting against you can never resist that you which you are not rebelling against you can never resist that which is aligned to your spirit what you can only resist is what you are rebelling against and as the resistance of God. We are resisting against the devil until he flees. We are resisting against the devil until he is not able to resist us. We are resisting against the devil. Why? Because we are not part of the devil. We are resisting the devil. Why? Because we are the resistance of God. And as the resistance of God, we represent a system of resistance. And the system of resistance that we represent it is the system of resistance that resists the devil, that resists the sins of the devil, that resists the temptations of the devil, that resists the devices of the devil, that resists the operations of the devil. We resist the evil of the devil. We resist the operations of the devil. We resist the command of the devil. We resist the powers of the devil. We don't belong to the system of the devil. We resist anything that is not of God. Why? Because we are the resistance of God. And if we are the resistance of God, we are not resisting the powers of God. We are resisting the powers of the devil. And as the resistance of God, we have also been sent to fight against the kingdom of the devil and fighting the, against the kingdom of the devil gives us the right to resist against the devil we resist the devil by fighting against the devil we resist the devil by rebelling against the devil we rebel against the sons of Belial we, res we rebel against the daughters of Belial for he that is the minister of God is a minister unto the ministry of good he ministers that which is good but if you do that which is evil be afraid for he beareth not the sword in vain why because the sword that he is going to pay is not going to pay it in vain he's going to pay it after finding a fault in you and when he finds a fault in you he does not bear the sword in vain for he is the minister of god a revenger to execute wrath upon him that doeth evil. Now, in the resistance, we are also representing the vengeance of God. In the resistance, we are representing the vengeance of God. And the vengeance of God that we are representing, it is not the tooth for a tooth, an eye for an eye, but it is the vengeance of God. We don't hate our brothers. We don't hate our sisters. We don't revenge against our sisters. We don't re re revenge against those that represent God. But we are avenging the systems that are represented not by god we are avenging against the darkness we are avenging the systems of evil we are revenging demons we are revenging the systems of demons we are revenging evil wherefore you must needs be subject your needs must be a subject not only for the wrath but also for conscience sake where does your conscience stand are you representing God? Are you imagining that which is only good? For this cause, you pay tribute also for their God's ministers attending continually upon this very thing. Render therefore all your Jews, render therefore to all their Jews tribute to whom tribute is due, custom to whom custom, fear to whom fear, honor to whom all this you only render fear to whom it is due and it can only be under the power of God. This passage has been misinterpreted. We don't just submit under any power. No. 
we submit only to the powers the high powers and the only powers that will be powers of god not powers of darkness all no men anything yes but to love one another for he that loveth another he has fulfilled the law for this thou shalt not commit adultery thou shalt not kill thou shalt not steal thou shalt thou shalt not bear false witness thou shalt not covet all these laws are laws that are meant to guide you child of god welcome to the resistance welcome to the resistant gospel welcome to the system that fights the kingdom of darkness welcome to the resistance the group of young remnants remnants sent to represent the system of God remnants that represent the resistance that resist the devil until he flees remnants that represent the resistance that stands firm that stands radically that goes against the devil and leaves not stone unturned until the glory of the kingdom of God and the glory of Yahweh is uplifted and elevated in the name of Jesus.